What we want to prove in this video is that if we take the product of the length of a secant segment, so that was AC, and the part of that segment that is external to the circle, so AC times AB, that that's actually going to be equal to the square of the length of a tangent that sits outside of the circle, well, that's always going to happen for a tangent, but the length of the tangent that intersects at that, that intersects that secant segment. So it's going to be equal to the square of segment AD. That's what we're going to prove here. And as you can imagine, what we're going to do is try to set up some similar triangles and set up some proportional relationship and then do a little bit of math and hopefully we can get this result. Now what we're going to do is set up a set up two things. So we could set up a triangle like this and then we can also set up a triangle like that. Now why is that useful? Well, if we were to say that, well, I don't even have to name what the measure is of this arc over here, but we know whatever that measure is of that arc, this angle over here is going to be half of that because it's an inscribed angle that intersects that arc. And then this angle right over here, BDA, that's an angle formed between a tangent and a chord. And that also, well, we know that that arc that it intersects, that this angle is going to be half that. So if this is going to be half that arc measure and this is going to be half that arc measure, we know that these are going to have the same measure. And now we also know that, well, if this angle up here is in two different triangles, it's, it's going to be, I guess you could say, congruent to itself. So let's put it there. And so now we can see a relationship. If we think about triangle A, B, D, let me write this down. So let's think about the relationship of triangle A, B, D, and that's this triangle here. There's triangle A, B, D. Let's think about the relationship between that and triangle and I'm going to try to get the same, and triangle A, A, D, C. Triangle A, D, C. A, D, and C. They have two angles in common. Both of those triangles have both this red one and this, and this off-white colored one. So by angle, angle, they are going to be similar. Similar by angle angle. If you have two angles in common, you're going to actually have the three angle, third angle as well. So now this allows us to set up a proportion. We could say, we could say that the ratio of, let's look at the big triangle first. The ratio of the length of AC, the longest side to its shortest side, AD, is going to be equal to the ratio, let's go look at the smaller triangle now, the ratio of its longest side, AD, that goes between the red angles and the white angle, the way I've colored it right over here, its longest side and its shortest side, at least the way it's been drawn. You could also say the side between the white angle and the one that is not labeled so far with a, with a color or angle marks, angle measure marks. So AD to AB. Now let's multiply both sides by both denominators. So we're going to multiply this times AB and AD. And we're going to multiply this side by AB and AD. And what do we get? This cancels with this. On the left-hand side, we have AC times AB. And on the right-hand side, this cancels with that. We have AD squared. AD squared. And we're done.